and uh, I just wanted to take some shots real quick so uh, we could see how the new firing pins work. Take a look. Hello, it's uh, Chris with the Spaz 12 Project. Wanted to do a video showing off these new firing pins that we just got in. This is a the stainless steel, which is the only one available right now is uh, is in stainless. And then here's the factory one just for comparison. Uh, did a few tests on these. All the measurements are exactly the same. Everything's great. It's a very, very precise piece, very accurate piece. Made by uh, Custom Instruments Tactical. So let me just show you real fast how easy it is to install one of these in the breech block of your Spaz 12 or related shotgun. Swing on over here to the vise. Uh, tools required. You're going to want a 1 16th punch. Uh, let's see, some kind of rubber mallet or mallet hammer. Uh, vice helps a lot. Um, I'll just kind of show you. This is what a uh, this is the breech block from my spas, and uh, it's already installed in that one. Here's my extra with the factory pin. So we're going to change this out. Uh, what you're going to want to do is look for a hole here in the back, right there near the end of the firing pin. And uh, you can see there's a flat spot there on the back of the pin. There's just the pin is just going across the flat spot, holding it in. So uh, go ahead and take your punch. Insert it into the little hole, and you're just going to knock that pin out. There we go. Now the nice part is that the punch will take the place of the pin. You don't need to pull that all the way out. It will come out, but it, it only needs to go through just a little ways. Um, now, since these firing pins are spring-loaded, you're going to want to keep your finger just over the end there. It's not under a terrible amount of pressure, but you don't want it to shoot across the room. That's annoying. So, yeah, take out your firing pin there, and you're going to want to kind of hold it sideways like this because when, as soon as you flip it over, your uh, lock is going to fall out. So take advantage of this opportunity and go ahead and, and clean this out with a toothbrush, and you can take your spring out, clean that out. Uh, you can get debris and stuff back in there and it can make uh, make it a little bit gritty. So go ahead and clean it all out. I'd recommend putting some lubrication there in the channel where your uh, your lock is going to kind of cam there. Okay, so when you're done with that, put the lock back in the breech block. It's a little easier if you do it on its side. Take the new stainless pin, insert it back into the firing pin channel. There we go. Make sure the flat spot is on top. There you can kind of see. And then you can start it a little bit just by tapping it down there, but you don't want to mushroom the end of that pin. It's not under a... It's not, it's not too tight of a fit. Mine actually, both of mine on the, uh, both my breech blocks came out very easily, so... And then since this is just rubber, just and there you go. There's your Spaz 12 Project replacement stainless steel firing pin. A uh, really, really easy process. Nothing to it. I've had tremendous luck with mine. These have been just fantastic pieces. Again, made by uh, Custom Instruments Tactical. You can pick them up on the website, uh, spaz-12.com at the Spaz 12 Project. I've got them right now. I think they're $25 uh, with free shipping. And then I'll go ahead and also include a few O-rings. Um, some someone on Gunbroker is selling these for like fifteen dollars a piece. Uh, that's nonsense. Get a hold of me. Send me a picture of your Spaz 12, a video, something, and uh, I'll just send you out a, a handful of these for free. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Uh, I spoke with the owner of uh, Custom Instruments Tactical. And uh, he also informed me that here pretty soon, hopefully he'll be able to offer these in uh, titanium, which is pretty exciting. So stay tuned, and I'll, let, I'll make a post whenever that happens, and uh, you'll be able to pick those up.
I don't really have a time frame on that quite yet, but he said that he'd send me a tester before I, uh, before I, you know, tried to make a purchase on an order of them. But the stainless steel, honestly, the stainless works just great. If you want to wait, hold out for the titanium one, that's fine. Uh, if you want to, if you're one of those people, shoot me an email so I know that there's people out there that are going to wait for those. So, um, but yeah, that's it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, look for more very soon. I'm going to try and get some more technical type of videos on manipulating the controls on the Spaz 12, uh, taking it apart. And uh, so yeah, stay tuned. Just check the website often. It's spaz-12.com. Thanks.